Use the definition of a derivative to find f prime of x. And what you're going to do is you're given f of x, and that's x to the third plus x squared. And definition of f um, of x, uh, derivative of f of x, is as follows. The limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x as delta x approaches zero. So then basically what you're going to do is you're finding the limit, right? And you have to plug in x plus delta x into your function, which is right here. So into the x's. So it's going to be x plus delta x to the third power plus x plus delta x to the second power. And then subtract it by um, f of x itself in orange, x to the third plus x squared. Divide by delta x equals the limit as delta x approaches zero. It's going to be, um, let's go ahead and find this to the left hand side. x plus delta x times x plus delta x. x times x is x squared. x times delta x is plus x delta x. x plus delta x is plus x delta x. delta x plus delta x is delta x squared. Add x squared plus, now this is 1, 1, so 1x one delta x plus 1x delta x is 2x delta x plus delta x squared. So that, that's um, x plus delta x times x plus delta x. So multiply it again by x delta x to give it a cube. So it'll be x squared times x is x to the third. 2x delta x times x is going to be 2x squared delta x. And x times delta x squared is x times delta x squared. And now multiply x squared by delta x. So it's x squared delta x plus x, uh, delta x times 2x delta x is going to be um, 2x delta x squared and delta x times delta x squared is going to be delta x to the third power. When you add them all together, you're going to get x to the third plus, this is really a 1, so 2x squared delta x plus 1x squared delta x is 3x squared delta x plus, this is really a 1, Okay, and then add 1x delta x squared plus 2x delta x squared is 3x delta x squared plus delta x to the third. So then it'll be x, so this right here, right, it will be what we will use to replace x plus delta x to the third, and it'll be right here. Um, x to the third plus 3x to squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x to the third. And now add um, x plus delta x to the squared, right? Which is right here. And that's going to be x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Minus, and it'll be minus x to the third plus x squared all over delta x. So the limit, so x prime of x equals the limit as delta x approaches zero of um, x to the third plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x to the third plus x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus x to the third minus x squared. So I just distributed the negative all over delta x. Now combine your like terms. Delta x approaches zero. So there's um there's um x to the third and negative x to the third here, so they cancel out. What else um we have similar? We've got positive x squared and negative x squared. 
and they cancel out, right? And uh, what else do we got? Nothing else. We've got 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x to the third plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared divided by delta x. So f prime of x equals the limit delta x. So then now, what you got to do is you have to factor out a, a delta x on your, um, in your numerator and keep the delta x in your denominator. So it'll be 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared plus 2x plus delta x. So now we're going to be left with f prime of x. These cancel out. And you're left with 1 on the top and the bottom. You're left with the limit of delta x approaches 0, where you get 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared plus 2x plus delta x. Go ahead and just substitute. If f of prime of x is going to be 3x squared plus 3x times 0 plus 0 squared plus 2x plus 0. And then f prime of x is going to equal 3x squared plus 3x times 0 is 0, plus 0 squared is 0, plus 2x plus 0. It's going to be 3x squared plus 2x. f prime of x will equal 3x squared plus 2x.